everyone and welcome to vlogmas day two today is december 2nd and if you are joining me again thank you so much for watching and if this is your first vlogmas that you're watching welcome my name is sam and i'm one of the dyers behind magically dyed yarns so it's just a little introduction to who i am um i know everyone tries out a bunch of new vlogmases um and different uh youtubers around this time so welcome um today i'm going to be opening up my toy story advent from fangirl fibers and then showing you what I've been working on. And I do have one piece of yarn meal that I will show you guys at the end. So let's get started with my advent. So I have December 2nd. Let's see who we got. Oh, that's really pretty. So this is Bullseye. So I'm gonna take a picture of this yarn and send it to my sister and see if she can guess who this colorway was inspired by. So I will insert that now. Okay, so after consulting with my family, they've guessed Slinky Dog, but my guess is Mr. Potato Head. Okay, our new guesses are Bullseye or Jesse. We all think it's Bullseye though, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think we're both having a lot of fun with this whole guessing game with me sending her the picture and her sending me videos. I'm watching them and then if she doesn't get it, after I watch it, I send her back with a couple of clues about um, which movies the character's in. Um, that's really the only clue I could give because, I mean, I guess I could give a couple more if she needed the help. Um, but they're all characters, so it's not going to be any, like, uh, cloud, sky blue cloud wallpaper. It's nothing obscure like that. They're all just the characters. So, but I know I'm having fun with it. <laughs> and so then on my Advent Stripe Socks, I added in this color this is what my daughter picked out and this yarn actually came from a friend she had some leftover scraps and she kindly gifted them to me so thank you amanda it was quite a while ago my daughter loved it her favorite color is pink i think we're going on theme here with my kids are picking their favorite colors so but i don't have too many reds so we'll see what happens when i come back to my son but I added in my stripes. I am just doing six rows of a scrappy yarn that my kids pick up because I did not order a self-striping advent skein this year. And so my son picked the red and my daughter Nora picked the pink. And then tonight I will have my other daughter Giada pick a color. And I think that's it. Oh, um, I'm not really using a pattern. I saw a couple years ago um, the Cozy Knitter. Uh, who also does a a self-striping advent skein every year. Um, she was doing a, it was, she just slipped every fourth stitch and I believe the pattern was written up by Lofty Loops. Um, so if you want the pattern, um, I would check out Lofty Loops. It is her cold brew socks. And then, so that's all my advent stuff that I'm working on daily. And then um, yesterday I did finish one of my knitted knockers. So I will be making the next one. I'm thinking on Monday or Tuesday, I will be getting to the second one. Um, it just depends on when I finish my work in progress. So this is um, a sock I started yesterday for my niece. She saw me knitting on Thanksgiving and asked me for a pair of socks and I was like, yes. So I'm working on my gusset decreases. I am knitting this on Magic Loop US 1's 2.25 millimeters, and I am knitting the pattern Whimsical by the Crazy Sock Lady. And I am on the second sock, so this is the first one. And I'm loving the way that this colorway is knitting up. It's so fun. These speckles are fluorescent, so they'll glow under black light. It is our, our pool party colorway uh, from this past summer. And I think it's so good. It's been so much fun. And then I think, oh, actually that's it. That's all I'm working on. <laughs> all right, so I have yarn mail. Just one thing. I received my yarnable in the mail today. I know it's really, really early. So if you didn't get yours and you don't want to see it, totally understand. I will put the time right here to when it is safe if you do not want to see it. So I got my yarnable. If you guys don't know what Yarnable is, Yarnable is a monthly yarn subscription where you can choose to get one or two skeins of fingering white yarn or one or two skeins of DK white yarn, depending on your yarn needs and preferences. Um, I get one skein of the fingering white yarn, um, but this is my last one. Actually, I had to cancel my, my subscription, unfortunately. 
trying to talk too fast and I don't know why. But I'm really, really excited to open this up. So everything comes in this bag. And then this is your goodies, this is your yarn. So your yarn comes in this bag and I'm going to save this till the end. I like to look at my goodies first and then look at my yarn. So these are the goodies for the month in this nice little zipper bag that I can't open. There we go. All right, so this month's theme is Frosty Fox. So you get this card in your goodie bag and it tells you all about what is inside your box. This is all of the makers that are inside your box. There's a QR code right here that you can scan to learn more about the makers. You get a coupon code that is good for hypnotic yarns for the month. This one's gonna be good for the month of December. So it's good for the month that you receive your box in. So we have, I was gonna read it, but this is what it says. It's not too long. And that's a fun fact about a snowflake. All right, so our goodies this month. Oh, that's cute. Okay, I was trying to figure out what it is. Um, it says, experience the, the chill of winter with a frosty fox yarn sweater from Fox and Pine Stitches. These adorable cake keepers ensures your yarn remains neat and tangle-free at a a dash of wintry woodland magic to every stitch. And then this is the car that came with it. And then Fox and Pine Stitches. They've been featured in the boxes multiple months and all of their stuff is just so good. And then add a touch of heartwarming whimsy to your creation with a unique wooden stitch marker from Simply Serving Handcrafts. This marker showcases Lindsay's amazing artwork with a cozy fox and sock, cradling a steaming cup of hot cocoa. Seriously, it doesn't get cuter than this. And this is absolutely adorable. I don't know if it came through. Oh, I'm trying to stop the glare. I'm going to take it out because it is just, it's so cute and I want you to see it. And the glare on the plastic was just... Oh, look at it. It's so cute. It's a fox in socks. I love it. I will have to add that to a project. And now finally, we will look at the yarn. Ooh, that is pretty. Look at those blues. Frosty Fox. This is definitely giving me frosty vibes. So this is on her um, plush sock base, which is an 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon. 437 yards to 100 grams and I love this so I'm going to add that to my shelf when I am done recording and that is it for the yarn I'm going to keep knitting for the rest of my day I had a pretty busy day it's a little later than I would normally be recording um it's about four o'clock in the afternoon so I have to go start dinner soon um we decorated for Christmas this morning um and I either did or I will insert some clips as to what we added to our house to get into the festive season. And then we also had lunch at my mother-in-law's house, um, which was always a great time. Me, my husband, and my father-in-law play cards with my son, Titus, and it's it's always a good time. They were teaching them some other things. Um, my in-laws are from Sicily, and so they taught us some Italian card games. Um, my mother-in-law made some Italian cookies and gave them to the kids. And she was talking about having my daughter come over to learn how to make the cookies. And I think that's so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to that, to having her do that. And also I get to learn the recipes, which is always good because they're my husband's favorites. It's what he grew up with. So I love learning how to make his childhood favorite meals that way. You know, it's just, it's always nice to have something familiar. So I am going to go get started on some more knitting. I'm hoping to finish that sock early tomorrow, but I have church tomorrow, so we'll see. See what gets done. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share it out with your friends, so that way they know that this is a great vlogmas to watch. Um, 
And I will insert some more clips of things I do with the rest of my day, and I will see you guys tomorrow for December 3rd or day three of Vlogmas.